Hello and welcome back again to day you two on mute, Clint? of the CDL broadcast. Yes, I did. In. I did. I did. I did. I did <laughs> okay, did. we didn't check right, in. I got right. a little I didn't bit tell nervous. You, but I did unmute this time. Joe, Joe, what's loading on your screen right now? Azir Cave Hardpoint, man. I am so excited, Whoa. Clint. I cannot wait Whoa. to watch some Call of Duty. Let's go. Let's get into this game, Joe. Mutineer. You want some stats, Ultra. Clint? You want some stats? I got to just spew them at me. Drop those stats on my forehead, Joe. <laughs> Toronto is one in three on this map. Florida is two and two. It's Florida's map pick. All right, here we go, Joe. Off to the races. The winner of this more than likely going to get smoked by the Chicago Huntsman tomorrow, but they have to get to that point first. And you never know what can happen because this is the Call of Duty League where dreams are made, where dreams are destroyed. I ran out of stuff there. I didn't, I didn't really have a very good speech lined up for that joke. Yeah, I would say, yeah, dreams are made, dreams are crushed. I mean, yeah, that's just competition at its finest, yes, honestly. That's, that's what it's about. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. That is what it's no about. No problem. But uh, nice little start here in the hard point uh, for the guys in the Florida Mutineers. His skies goes hunting, finds a kill outside a spiral, and snaps right back to yellow. Woo. Yeah, Florida right now just, oh, okay, he continues. I mean, skies, we know how dominant of an AR he could be. He's going to watch over his teammates, but Florida, they're just trying to get all this time on the middle of the hill. You see number three, that's Frost. He's starting to work through outposts. Good pickup by the OBS team. I love that. Skies, he's watching the cross. Frosty, though, just a little bit too many players to deal with. And Toronto, they're just trying to make sure they can lock this rotation down. Yep, they've got it locked down. You at least get, what, 34 points on that opening hard point from Mutineer. So nice job there. But can they get any kind of an early break on the cave side east? Ultra are set up. Who's that still lingering towards me? I believe that's Bant. That was still in a position to get across, but he's going to drop. They're going to get the safe spawn, I believe, at least one more time. But now comes the wave that is the Mutineers. They try to get closer to this. The good thing for them, Ultra shouldn't be set up quite in their power position. It's three or four of them were coming off a of spawn. Frosty, though, going to run out of ammo. Skies, though, finds three before he falls. And they've at least got Ultra out of the hard point for now. Yes, you're not getting any time yet, but they've cleared them out. They've made it a little bit sloppy for Ultra. Yeah, and I mean, the good thing is, is they should be able to rotate first to field, but you can see where Florida's actually spawning. This could turn out pretty darn well for Toronto as we rotate to hill number three. But overall, great stuff by Florida. As you said, they kept that hill sloppy. I mean, they've kept their lead so far, and they will keep it as we rotate over. Yeah, I mean, we've seen full 60-point holes there. You're going to get about 35 for Alter. So 25 of those points were dis disrupted by Mutineers. I take that they as a win. go down, and they win rotation. Yep. Yeah. Even though we don't see a whole lot of points usually earned, on field you'll still take that early rotation but typically one one break into broken and it kind of becomes a contest best we haven't seen like at least in my eyes a lot of like you know 40 plus second holds at this particular hard point but let's see what mutineers can do so far so good but there's the broken control now for ultra now it just becomes so difficult to get any kind of time once this fight comes you know kind of at that 50 yard line with one team controlling each side of the building yeah, methods and metals with some nice shots. Going to take them down. You do have Frosty working in the middle of the map. He's going on a big flank. Cammy's on the other side. Frosty gets taken down. Both teams fighting for control, but on rotation towards Cave West. It is Mox. Skies right now, 10 and 6 on a 3 spree. Mox just making sure they could lock down this rotation. Has Pharaoh to help him out. As we go to Cave West, another opportunity for Florida to, to have a nice hold. Minimal lead for Ultra. But as you stated, Florida set up. Slow start for Frosty as he's, what, 3-8. and eight, But who's going to pick up the slack? We're going to have XPOV with the MP5 as he's going to try and take, fight, take fights at range. But your two ARs, they line them all up. Look Ooh. at that. Mox, Skies, take down four. Frosty finds a fifth and a sixth as one comes off spawn. And that's a, a nice hold in the first wave for the Florida Mutineers. Yeah, I mean, maps where these two can run double ARs, it's going to be great for Florida. I even think you have Farrell on a third one. So, yeah, the, the more of them fours, I think the better for Florida just because the, the play styles on these teams, when they rotate early on the hills, they should be able to lock them down. And you're seeing that at Cave West now in rotation. Frosty's able to win one. Can he win the second one? He tries to smoke himself out. I like that play. Just make it chaotic. But Classic, he's sitting there up top ready for it. So they're going to give up. Toronto's going to give up the final 10 seconds, or will they? As Cammy continues to put on some pressure, the rest of his teammates are going to rotate over to Outpost. Yeah, 2E Classic, that has to be big. 
He's got, you cannot have an early death from this position. He's gonna get dropped. This could spell disaster for Ultra early. We've seen that position. Who'd be watched from there? Like God or X on Rock, we watched multiple times today, where he got to that position by the little hut and he dominated that brain, uh, that that bridge lane. He was so good from there, but his classic gets stunned and aided, maybe a little bit over aggressive from the front. Look at that. You get in almost immediately if you're mutineers. Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about the two hills that Florida, or sorry, not Florida, Toronto has rotated early to KVs and now Outpost. Florida's done a, a great job breaking through and dis disrupting this. This is where that 60 point lead comes in. And you see the kill feed. You, you see the stats right there. Mox on a five spree. They have them pinned in. That is great for our next rotation when we go back to, to the center of the map. That first hill. This is exactly where they want them. A nice first rotation out of the Florida Mutineers. That's fantastic. Now, can they compound upon this lead when we get into the second set? Is everyone will start to track back towards mid map? Havoc's going to try and get the cutoff of multiple players moving over from the last hard point. He got one, but then ended up dropping his three Mutineers players fall. Into the hard point goes Ultra. KB's control for the next will be set up for Mutineers. Methods has to try to stay alive. Oh, does get taken down. He was the only Toronto player over there. And he was in a nice position, but there was just too many Florida members for him to deal with. A lot of time so far at this point for Ultra, at least early in it. But now everybody gets cleared out of mid. There were like four or five players that had just dropped in and around the hard point. Spawn still safe for Mutineers in Cave. Methods doing what he can to disrupt that action inside of yellow, but it's only one that's going to fall. And we touched a lot on Florida, taking a look at the Toronto side. Yeah, Methods, who is right where he usually is, right around the one classic leading the way, 18 and 15. You, you want the slay maybe to step up a little bit. I mean, they're still in this game, but here's going to be the question. You have another set up hill for Florida. They get the early rotation. Now can Toronto, are they going to be able to disrupt it all? And you know how difficult it can be. You have to get that first set of kills. The one thing that did stand out for them, like Metals is double negative. And I'm pretty sure the map one they played against Florida last time, Metals didn't do well. Like he got smoked. I know it's tough yep. to come filling in for Looney, but for now we'll focus on this opening hole. Cammy coming in from the top. This could be the break. He's going to get vision towards the back. Can't finish the first, but finally will be able to track down the kill. You still spawn safe if your mutineer is deep. But the pressure already there from Ultra. We are not going to see a, a clean KV through the first set of two sets of rotation. Uh, I will say, though, I, I think Frosty as well is struggling a little bit. I, I just think from a stat side, in terms of your submachine gun players, it, this is a tough it map is. to play. That's true. That's I mean, true. right, especially when there's six M4s on the map, that is just tough to deal with. There's not a lot of cover. It's tough to finesse. You're going to get caught a lot. So for a guy like Metals, I, I, I get it. it. This map can be tough sometimes. This time through the field, it'll be Ultra here first. Their player broken will fall, so it should be early pressure from Mutineers. It was five in a row for Bance before he dropped from that position. They're trying to do a split push as one player, I think that's Havoc, has tried to hit through mid-map and go in on the flank. So they're going to have to pick him up Spiral. As soon as he hits Spiral, they push from the front. Clean break on in, and that's a, that's really just Havoc in skies, right? Two from the back, two from the front, four players from Ultra drop, and there's the tank. Yeah, 25 seconds left. We'll see what both teams opt to do. Toronto, they go at this one more time. They have the spawns for Cave West. And there you see those Aqua arrows start to move into Cave. They're going to have the numbers advantage inside. But look at look at number zero. That's Vance. Is he going to go on a wide flank all the way around? This could work. They can set up the outpost spawns as well. For the hill after but his team has to get the kills and now this is a little bit scary because you want that rotation all of his teammates go down and now florida set up they're set up but how long can they hold on bance trying to be the difference maker now he had the big five spree and transition to the last hard point can he make some noise now Metal still hasn't really picked it up, sitting around double negative as we go over to Metal's POV. He's going to be the one on the pinch attack. He's going to catch a stun, but his teammate... There to hell. Who got that kill, actually, on the player in front of him? Did that sh... Metal's got it. Oh, okay, okay. It's because the stun came out. <laughs> he was just stunned. Oh, he was no, just for stunned. a second. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For a second, I was like... Hey, wake up, Clint. No, I was like, I was like, nobody has the angle on that. I didn't see any hit markers. <laughs> like, who got that? Yeah, I forgot what the stun... Yeah, that's because you're stunned. <laughs> I was, I was, stare, oh God, I was staring at the minimap like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
It worked out great, though, for Toronto. They were able to break in. And then, like I talked about, right at the beginning, because bands flipped those spawns, look at the setup they have now for outposts. But this is where Florida was able to get in early on. Frosty's going to find that opener. Farrell is going to find another one, and that's going to open things up in four dead. That just, oh, it's a five dead. It just can't happen, Maven. It literally it can't happen. If you were going to rotate that early and invest that early, th that play right there cannot happen. Who was happen. the first one picked at that outpost hold holding bridge again? Was it classic again, or who, who got? I'm not sure. Who got but it can't this happen. time? Yeah, it's just way, 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 way too easy. I mean, you're not even making it a couple seconds into the hard point before they're getting into it. It just cannot because happen. Even if you still have these close spawns, what makes it tough is Florida still spawns relatively close. And when yeah. you don't get a guy front outpost, that just means that the hill is going to be spammed by grenades over and over. So you're not going to earn a ton of time. Now you see the position. Look at where the white arrows are spawning right now. They could not be further away from center village, which we're about to go back to. So this is huge for Florida. Especially when they're already up 24 points right now. They can put it away here. Havoc is going nuts, by the way. 38 and 26. He is on a seven spree. He's got the MP5, M4 combo, and he is doing it all. Can he keep the streak going as he gets back to mid? It's going to end there as he drops. So what a map out of Havoc. Leading the way. And, I mean, we've seen that a couple times this year, but more often than not, statistically, it's been the Frosty. It's been the Skies. More recently, it's been the Pharaoh. When Havoc puts up bombs, you got to think they're going to be winning maps. It's Havoc big streak yeah, ends. It's Skies now on a five streak. He's 34 and 19. You, you just got to imagine with Persini on the bench right now, the first guy in for them is going to be Havoc, right? Just with the pace that he plays at. Because the guy who is as fast or faster than him on the roster is Persini. So now that he's out, it, it's Havoc first yeah, in. Yeah. So the fact that your entry guy has... 38, 39 kills on a map like Cave is great for Florida. But can they win the map now? They have the rotation. You can't One play player, that was Frosty. Yeah. That, <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Yes. No, you, you you can slide around on the on the wood pine, but that could hurt. <laughs> There's a splinter in my... All right. So, <laughs> Ultra, 41 points needed, 25 needed for Mutineers. Florida looking to deliver the knockout punch here in map one. And... Well, potentially end Ultra's tournament hopes and a hope of their first semifinal, but Ultra are able to burst in at least for a moment. But to trade that out, it will be Skies. It will be a lovely double yet again for Havoc. 30 seconds remaining on the hard point and not many points needed for Mutineers. They have to pick up one final push from Cave, and that should be it. I mean, right now, I just took a look. They are plus 30 in the kill. Is it kill really that in. drastic? Plus 30. How is the game even that close? Like it, That's what I was uh, about. That was literally about to be my point. I did some very quick math, right, with my big head. And, uh, yeah, plus 30 uh, when it, when I when I saw that scoreboard. So, the fact that Toronto were in this game the way they were, I mean, that, that's a story in yeah, itself. That's some old but red Florida, reserve stats, bro. Get out slayed by 30, have a close game. <laughs> yeah, Florida, though, able to, able to close it out. Uh, they'll get the map one done. I think it's uh, hard to pick them. I mean, they're, they're absolutely the favorites in this series, even if it's a new look roster with Pharaoh in place. But there's a map one win. Skies, 37 kills. Havoc with a 41 bomb. Pharaoh not far behind with 35. Uh, it, you see the slaying power is there. Maybe they need to tighten up a little bit on, I, I guess, positioning around the objective because you would think it'd be a little bit more of a blowout with that type of slaying edge. But... Usually, Joe, hell, you're going to fry like that. The objective becomes <laughs> secondary. More often than not, you're going to win. Yeah, I, I mean, and, it, and it's similar to what we saw yesterday, you know, between these two teams. Uh, Florida, they control most of the hard point. They're able to take game one. But what was Toronto able to do? What was our game field key to victory for Toronto to, to win this series or at least get us to the distance? They had to win the search and destroys. And we're going back to a game two, which I believe is Ramaza. That was the game five yesterday. This is a very strong map for Toronto. They're sitting at four and one. What did Florida learn from yesterday? What are they going to adjust? That's the big story going into map two. Yeah, it's interesting though, because I feel like with most teams, you can take their map stats and it applies to this. Like they're four and one on this mm -hmm. great. They should be, but there's been so many changes to Toronto. 
how much does that four on one apply when who knows who was even on the roster when they were getting those wins? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still like, well, at least good. they played them yesterday and lost. So one to know, how about that? Well, no, Maven that's true. one that's to true. know, but you know what I mean? Like four on one, it's like they, they might have had four yeah. different rosters for like, those wins, but they probably did. Yeah. We'll take a look at the scuff play of the game though, before we get ready for the search and destroy. Um, I, I remember, I remember watching them actually on Ramaza a couple of times. I think the guy that really stood out for me was classic, but the guy right now that went off on the side of Florida was Skies. Well, Skies have a bunch of Skies will be our scuff play in the game as he made play after play. Yeah, we'll see what he was able to do. I mean, there was just so many multi kills that, you know, these these players were able to define it. And we talked about the, the ARs for Florida and why this is a strong map for them. Here you see Skies find three kills just watching over his teammates. He's been so good for this team throughout this season. Yeah, I think we all knew he was going to get to this point. It's just, I, I guess I'm wondering when, you know, he's obviously on the Mutineers team. He's kind of, in a way, been their superstar, but I don't know if we've seen him peak yet. Like, is this a guy that, I don't know, how far can he go? Uh, I, I just think he's only going to get better from this point, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I, I don't think we've seen the best of guys yet. Well, I mean, listen, Florida better lock him down before TikTok takes over, right? And he becomes a TikTok star. Well, that, we, we want him to stay that, in Call of Duty, see, right? Well, what I was going to say, and no disrespect to Florida, that or a top team in the standings goes after him, which which might not happen anytime soon, but you want to lock him down, yes, from his TikTok career and potentially getting poached by another roster down the road. Like, I think, Unless I think they he's throw that him that super match. Yeah, you throwing him in the bag. Uh, doing what you can to make sure you lock the him Duffy, in. The Duffy? The double <laughs> bag? You get in the war zone? Yeah, yeah. They got to get that super max. But end of round one is Ultra. Get right in towards the A site. They're able to take down two. Frosty, Pharaoh, Havoc left up for Mutineers. Trying to bring it back in a 3v5. Yeah, this was just a, a fast A hit. They just go right across the bridge. They find the first two kills. And I mean, this is going to be a very quick round. Uh not much for Florida to do. Uh, it's all up to Frosty now in a one on three and a pretty tough task. He had a one and it's over. He had a 1v4 and an ace, I believe, earlier today, or 1v3. He had some absurd play just a few hours ago, but not going to happen here as medals will close yeah. out the round. Yeah, I mean, we talked about medals and maybe his struggles in map one, but yesterday when they played this map, he took over. I think he finished on 11 or 12 or 13 kills. It was a lot of kills and led the way for Toronto. So we'll see what he can do in this one. I'll try to bounce back from that map one. See if he can do it. Ultra looks so clean on offense. Now to the defensive side. Nice start from Methods and Bants as they'll tally up four of the five kills. Classic around so Cafe very, is yeah. what stood out for me. The last time I, I cast these guys play. He just was entry well, after entry go. after entry around Cafe. He'll end up dropping, but not before he gets two. He was just a first Ooh. one machine. I don't know how he dies before the second melee gets off, but that's the MP5 for you. He just gets obliterated. Massive numbers to yeah. hold for those still. And like you said, Class is just locking down the Cafe. I mean, they flew on in. It was a very fast split towards this B site from Florida, but they are just depending on Cafe control because that opens up different lines of sites near that truck. Pharaoh, though, he's going to back on up with Mox. Able to find a fit a pick. Forces a two on three, but Bomb is down, and it's in a tough position. It certainly is. How are they going to try and work back to this? Well, Probably not going to happen. Pharaoh, pops though. steady. He, he can make the play. There's, a, I mean, this is an open. They are split. He has two one-on-ones right now. And he might find the timing for methods. This this could be it. Less than half of his daddy left. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, he's on the outside. Okay, he's on the outside part of it. That's, I felt the same oh, way geez. for a second. I was like, yeah, it. dude, me. the x-ray, it messed with me. Yeah, he's on the outside part right here. Ooh. And he's able to find Ooh, that. That was a snap. Mm. That was actually a nasty snap from Pharaoh. Uh, unfortunately, still, no amount of snap can uh, account for methods pre in here at the corner. But almost gets it done. Yeah, no, the x-ray totally screwed me up there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> 2-0. So ultra. Yeah, I mean, so far so good. Again, we, we touch on how difficult it is to, you know, beat a team twice on a map when, you know, they have a night to go over film, make adjustments. But, hey, you can make some adjustments as well. What is, uh, do you have the stats in front of you? Like, what is Toronto overall, sir? Overall, yeah, is that is that in the email we have? Uh, I did not have that. Okay, no, not a big deal. I was just curious. I could find it. 
Try might have some Hold up. Oh no, these are stats from hours ago. I take it back. Toronto is six and four overall. Six and four. So, uh, yeah. Matt, this is their strong. They're four and one on this one. Yeah, it's got to be the strongest mode. This is their strongest map and mode. So oh. wait, they, they've won this. 50, they've got this fifty percent of their searches. Dang. More than that. We well, said they're four and one. They played ten total, right? Did you say they were yeah. six and four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just meant so wins. But classic oh, with a huge play. Oh, I meant play. like overall of their search. Like they played. They played this half the time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's too late for this. What are you saying? It's too, it's, you're still going. Tri trigonometry. <laughs> and you missed the Nikki D special. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Nikki D's a beast, bro. Seven and two. He he is he is the cafe. He's one with the cafe. He's in there making <laughs> an espresso, just dump it on the opposition. I like. I could go for an espresso, but now I'd be up all night. Yeah, no, I already am gonna be up all night. I had to heavily caffeinate for this final series, Joe. I like that. That's why I, that's why I love about you. You're dedicated. Yep, I'm gonna make you FaceTime me till I fall asleep. Yep. Uh, I have no problem with this. <laughs> 3 0 Ultra. But they're gonna be down a man in this particular round. Uh, a chance for mutineers, you think, have to get around victory if they're gonna start to get back in this with the numbers. Do they know Cammy's here? Do they know Cammy is in the position that he is? Skies is able to pick you up on it. Methods found one, so it's going to be a 2v3. Bants with Dead Silence trying to make the play, but guess what? That's going to run out. Now they're going to hear you, but he's going to find Mox before that happens. Twenty seconds to go. 2v2. Frosty able to find the angle. Just I thought he was just going to hold it, but he goes for the push. He's going to get caught. I like this. He just jumps on it. He just jumps on it right away. It's, uh, he might have it. He, he might have this. He didn't finish okay, it? Okay, Florida got it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I know. Didn't, didn't finish how, it in how time. Close I got a little nervous. How close? Oh, no, I'm gonna bring so up our, 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 I know. I'm going to bring up our program. Uh, it was like point five seconds oh, it had away. To be. I, I, I was waiting yeah. to see who won that. That reminded me of like that gunless play where you got the kill and I wasn't sure like who had it because it's so close to it being done. Unbelievable. Well, he got like straight headshots too. It's a good thing, Skies, because he has melted him. But wow, that was a close one, but a much needed round victory for Mutineers. Breathe some life, life into the squad in this surge. And there's that split B push coming out of Toronto. They take cafe control. The Pharaoh's able to find the first blood on the Bants. Pharaoh's able to find the second one. But Cami and Metals quickly turn this into a 3v3. But the rotation is here. Now, how do you get the bomb down? You saw he was trying to pre-fire that window to give him cover. cover. It didn't have the angle as Mox was playing deep from it. And Mox stops the plant. But now 2v2, one wrapping through ruins, one holding cafe. It's Havoc with Dead Silence looking for the angle. Should have a free kill in front. Almost slid directly in front of him, but there he'll pick up the kill. Metal's now 1v2. Chance for Mutineers to rip off two rounds in a row. And he's working up towards Deddy. I don't think he's going to get it before this round's over. Havoc still has his. He's going to peak once again. Wins the gunfight. And there, as you said, two rounds in a row for Florida. They're right back in this one. Good use of uh, Dead Silence there from Havoc. He gets the key kill that also gives him position to really easily look over the bomb. Nice play from Havoc, who was a monster in that map one. Toronto, maybe feeling this map slip away a bit. As they were looking to run away from it. Ha uh, Classic started at what? 7-1, seven 7-2. And, seven and, and then he's been first blooder, like dropped early in the round. See if he can get back to dominating. Classic not going to be a cafe this round. He's going to play towards B with methods. And there's he gets first blooded again. So that early round impact he was having. Not going so well for him. And well, that's been a big part of why I think Mutineers are getting back into this. Yeah, I'm surprised he stayed away, you know, from cafe. Because Florida goes right back to cafe. And then Metals tries to get inside. He gets taken down. And Florida's just playing patiently. The rotations come in from Toronto. Skies is sitting there waiting for Cami. They're not even playing the bomb yet because they know they're going to have to peak. And that is a fall this round for Florida. That is three rounds in a row. We are all tied up. Yeah, and it's, dude, I'm telling you, Classic went from what? Getting two to four kills basically around in the early going, especially 
around my map and since then nothing so i don't know if he was trying to mix up the position because he just thought he was being kind of a predictable read and toronto was starting to pick up on it or sorry or florida was starting to pick up on it i'm not sure yeah it's one of those things where like cafe is i think for both sides a bit of a gamble because it's not necessarily needed to defend the bomb site right like you don't have to have cafe to defend b so it's just one of those things where if he plays in there alone and he gets traded or you know gets taken down in a 2v1 that just ends up bad oh. but with how strong he was playing you oh, thought no. he would be there skies oh, though no. right right behind him Wait. oh but metals found it oh, i Sniffed thought him out i thought for sure skies had a free kill he used daddy to get to that point which is laying prone i thought for sure he had at least one but he gets caught if not two <laughs> Barrel with the challenge. What was a? I think a five v three. Now a three v three. Nice win though by Metals and Vance. Barrel left to try and clutch this. Not going to be able to do it. Ultra for now. Stop the bleeding. Yeah, I, I mean I love Pharaoh's play. Right, he's able to win the one on one. He forces some other gunfire. Able to stay alive. Just hoping his teammates can win gunfights on the other side of the map. But Vance, I, I mean, listen, when you give up construction. The plank goes down. There's just so many like, you know, you know, nooks and corners to check that it's just tough. I mean, he's all the way top three with that MP5, just peeking it. That is a tough bomb site to retake. The standouts right now, Pharaoh. Still kind of methods in classic. Classic is not a four, three or four rounds in a row. What's been impressive for Pharaoh is just how many first bloods that he's gotten these past couple rounds as well. Sure. This time it's classic. He gets aggressive. Him and Cammy, they push something out. They go back to their to their special. And they're able to find three kills. They take that gamble that we were talking about. So it, it seems like so many rounds where a team has had like two man advantage, and then suddenly it's just the odds even out almost instantly. We get down to a 2v2, 50 seconds to go. One player defensively on the site. That's gonna be metals in a position to deal with this. He's got dead silence to use to make a play. Frosty's is going to run out and he's going to work to get the plant down. When does Metals pounce? Does he wait he's for now. He's, he's going to pop the deadie and go, but he can't finish the kill. the kill. Can't finish the kill and now his teammate's going to track across the map, but that element of surprise is gone, Joe. All right, they, they know where Frosty is, though. Like, they, this should still be a kill for them, and it will be. But Havoc's there for the trade now. Where's Methods? We have a one versus one. Havoc slides the corner. A nice little pre-fire with the MP5. Able to win a huge one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I think he finishes it right before the stunner flash hits. Like, he finishes this, and then pop. He's going to get yep, hit right by almost him. immediately after. See how battle hard. And if That's it's true. a stun, though, as well, he can still shoot still through it. And finish it, yeah. I mean, I come at metals gets that kill the first one on the cross probably doesn't get traded out in that scenario and they likely win the 2v1 can't finish it they end up losing it all right toronto i mean toronto they take cafe but what does florida do they just go right up to the half wall and frosty's able to take two kills it's like all right we'll give you this but we're gonna take this from you frosty with this third does get taken down it is left now to Cami Metals. And like you said, this is these rounds at the beginning have been so fast. Oh, they're gone. I, I, I've, I've been watching Classic on the minimap, and he, he is just sprinting until he Fly. finds Fly. He's just hitting, yeah, he he's just hitting doors. He's winning it or he's not winning it. He's just going. And uh, he's not the only oh, that one. That is a person. Cami just saw his head. There's a pick. 2v2 now. Because typically, what we, we've. I feel like the trend that we've been seeing is that teams have been like stacking a and, and retaking it's like stacking a bomb set on defense and, they, and they're okay with retaking it but these teams have just been bull charging each other uh -huh. a couple of bulls only one bull can be left handed joe and they're both seeing red <laughs> cammy a lone man looks like he'll be able to get this plant down then what can he do from the post plant he's gonna be very close to daddy but pharaoh's already got his popped as he starts moving on through Yeah, he's got it popped, but obviously he's defending, so we can't really. Maybe he can find the 50 50 timing. He can reset it. He's able to spot Pharaoh, but Pharaoh spots him. Now, what's the play? 
Moss Ooh. is gonna hold. He re challenges. He plays Ooh. it so well. The one v two from Cammy. Oh, that challenge on the first, then the set. Look at this little snap. The movement. Oh, Pharaoh's reloading. Oh, he's reloading and that time. No, Cammy is so weak, but he just hits him with the hop, hop. The hit me hop hop. Oh, what a play from Cammy. And that that's a that's a painful round because that would have been what five four edge to Florida. One round away from taking this. Without 1v2 though, Cammy and Ultra back in front. And well, Pharaoh switches it up. Another first blood for him. That is his third or fourth. He brings out the sniper. Classic. He's not in cafe, but he's watching it. Pharaoh finds another pick on a cami. And that will open up the A site. And we haven't seen a ton of sniping here, right? Like, so many maps where we've seen it make its mark. Like, you haven't seen nearly as much, but Pharaoh. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Clyde. You were talking about Classic. He just goes. He's, like, he's, just, no. he's just trying to find random timings. 100%. And hopefully, he gets multiple a kills. 100,000%. I love it. I love he's it, dude. He's just going, bro. He's winning it or he's losing he's it. Just like, he's like, you know what? It's a 3v5. I'm going to try to find two. I'll be right back. It doesn't matter yep. what the scenario is. He's going. <laughs> Yeah. The man wants to go fast. Round 11. Game 2. Huge for Ultra as they're already down 0-1 in the series. I like that from Pharaoh though. Pulls out the sniper. Little gets sniper a switch it up. Picks. Yeah. He's 11 and 9 now. I would imagine he doesn't have it, but can we just take a peek? Maybe he kept it out. Worked out so well. Have a talk about oh. timings. He may have found one. Oh my. That should be a first blood, and it will be. Oh, yeah. That's going to pick apart. In a second. Pick apart. They set up completely. Vance wins a big one, but Frosty gets a kill as well. Waiting patiently on the other side of the smoke will be Frosty. Three versus two now. Numbers the Mutineers. They've already thrown away one 2v1, though. And Cammy was the hero that made the play. Cammy might be the one to do it again. Cammy with two kills turns it into a two versus two. Mox and Frosty. Maybe beginning to panic a bit. Ah. Florida Mutineers will get it done, though. They'll get the final couple of kills. I thought for a second that Cammy made the play to get the win for Ultra. But Florida, go up 2-0. Yeah, and I mean, I, I didn't see much of the game five yesterday, but it feels like Florida just sort of adopted. You know what? Let's just start hitting some timings. And you saw it there in round 11 from Havoc. You know what? I'll tell you what. It, maybe we see that if we're on like a main stage, but maybe that like well, online environment, he's just sort of like, no, screw it. Uh, but I, I, I think if it was a different player, yeah, but no, it's Havoc. I don't think it would have mattered. Yeah, that's I, true. Havoc would have done that anywhere. At least that's how I that's see it. That's true. <laughs> but he, he found the timing. Yeah. And that's why I think some teams, you know, a good amount of teams stay away from Ramaz at times. There's just so many openings. There's so many, you know, different levels to it where you give up one lane. If you don't execute fast enough, that's exactly yeah, what happens. Feel, it feels to me, and I don't have the data in front of me for it, but it feels like the least played search. At, le at least, especially for when you and I commentate, yeah. like we get very few yeah. Ramazes uh, matched up between these squads, but that will bring us to 2-0. Florida Mutineers going to be in front. This is our final series of the night. This is finding our fourth team to make it to CDL Sunday. Four teams will remain to battle it out for one victor. But we need to get uh, we need to get our final squad. But coming up next, it will be the domination. Ultras tournament lives in the brink. They've got to get this victory to extend this series. We'll be right back after this quick break.
Call of Duty League is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Stay connected to what matters most with the best value in wireless. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, it's our final match of the night. Mutineers up 2-0. We're going to take a look at the U.S. Army tactical play uh, right as we get ready for this domination. But, Joe, where you think about Alter, where they've got to get the map with victories. It has to happen in Search and Destroy. There, they're going to fall short. Now, you think they're really, really in trouble because Mutineers, they've been pretty solid and dumb. Yeah, they're, they're a solid domination team. And, you know, we just saw this yesterday where they were able to win this game three. So, yeah, what well, we talked about, the, the keys of victory. We felt like Toronto, you know, they had to win the search and destroy, you know, extend this series, put the pressure on Florida. It doesn't happen. I mean, they've been close games. You have, what, like a 25-point hard point, around 11. Toronto's been right there, but that is literally the story of their entire season. They have been right there, just have not been able to execute when it matters. Absolutely. And Mutineers, I mean, maybe this is their chance to to make a run again. Uh, you know, they did it in an unexpected fashion last time around to get that second place finish a couple of events ago. Mm -hmm. um, they've already shown that they can beat a team when you don't think they will. I mean, yes, with the Huntsman thing and Pristini versus Arsides, there's maybe a little bit more to that from an emotional standpoint and an energy standpoint. Well, I mean, London, I'll tell you what, though. If she, if they do end up playing Chicago tomorrow, I think that's going to be a bit of a, you know, I think Huntsman is, they're going to come out with a little bit, a, a lot of energy, not a little bit, a, a lot of Huntsman, energy. Because, yeah, if I, Huntsman would yes. come out and try to destroy them and make exactly. sure they couldn't compete again, I beat them so bad. Yeah, I, I, would, I would think so. Right. Well, Joe, uh, I think they're into the game. I don't know about you, but on my screen, I am seeing a multiplayer lobby suddenly. Right, so this, yep, I am as well. So we're going to try to get that worked out. Oh, there we're we back. go. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. <laughs> we just wanted you guys to check out this yeah, season three our background. Second, I was like, Joe, I don't know how to cast this dude just standing here. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. Just check out, I mean, all season right. three is out. There's a lot of new content. Yeah. Check it all yeah. out, baby. Oh, I thought it was just me for a moment. I was like, whoa. I could put skins on my vehicles in Warzone, Clint. Yes, you can. Big Birth is coming for you. Uh, I hate Big Bertha. <laughs> oh, She's a bully. Trying to get B control. How are the mutineers? They're there, but there's a one-on-one -on -one happening. I think the one-on-one -on -one goes to metals. He's able to hit the grenade, take out Pharaoh, and make sure B does not get done. But it's Frosty. Yeah, Bance actually made the play, though. Bance, Bance was the one who neutraled C, and now he's just trying to play his life. So while, while Florida had a big push towards B, Bance was able to sneak through neutral C. Cammy was trying to do what he can, but with that gunfight going the way of Florida, that should be C back to them. But again, because Bance was able to neutral it, Florida had to wrap back, and A, B hold is coming through for Toronto. They got that preferred hold. And what can they do with it? Trying to push through, I believe, towards green, and back towards mid is skies. On the other side of the map, kind of bottom is Mox that's working up, maybe working towards an A neutral. Guys keeps doing the dirty work with the MP5 inside a vent room. He's going to end up dropping. Mox still looking for an opening towards the bottom side of the map. Now he's going to end up going for it. Can he get this neutral off? It looks like he's going to be able to do it before the pressure gets there. That's going to turn two heads, though. That's, I was going to say that's the big thing. It turns two players around. Unfortunately, his teammate, though, lost the gunfight at B. So instead of you know having a one-on-one, -on -one, winning it, getting B, while Mox turns heads to A, they don't get either of the points. Yeah, and Pharaoh spawned like mid crates. So Pharaoh is able to immediately put pressure on A. He's able to win that. So Toronto get B back. They're also putting pressure on C. They have to be careful here. I feel like you don't want to give up A. Bance is rotating back. He's able to win the first gunfight on the Frosty. And with that gunfight, you see all the white arrows come up. So well, I, I like that. I got a little bit nervous, but we're able well, to hold on A. I think they were good because I think it was two and four. It was Skies and Pharaoh that spawned up, and they, they spawned really deep towards C. So I don't think they were at risk of any flip happening until they were able to get up the map, and they just had to trek so far because they got really deep. Maven, we spawned. have seen players spawn back train, front train. I do not trust that. Well, they just had one back. That. They had one back bottom, one back top. So I... I don't all think I'm saying is this, is if Vance loses that it? gunfight, maybe. Uh, that's all I'm saying. We've seen it happen yeah, quite a right. bit. You're right, you're right. It's possible. It might have. We have seen uh, just about everything here, haven't we, Joe? Everything. Even a draw, Joe! 
We we saw a draw today. We did we did. I yeah. know you want to see another one. You love this. Yep. Absolutely, Joe. At this point, wait, well, hey, just hit midnight for you, right? It's technically Sunday for you. I, yeah, championship Sunday. Hey, CDL Welcome Sunday to Championship here. Sunday. Woo! Welcome Skies to is 16 Championship and four. Sunday. How, what? How is he 16 and 5? Because he's a beast! Skies is nasty! They haven't even had two flags most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, when you're a TikTok phenom, you know no rules, Joe. You know no rules. All right. I like that. CB control for mutineers. Who's working up for the neutral? That's going to be Cammy. He's going to be able to hop on it for a moment. Nobody's even close because that deep spawn, they get top right of the minimap. The grenades will come through, though. They're able to double nade them off the site. They should be able to retake C. Nice one-on-one -on -one win there for Metals. He actually takes down two, and he'll be able to neutral B. I, I, what's weird about this for me, though, is like I feel like if I wasn't paying attention to the score, I, I, I you, you know, we kind of stare at the minimap throughout this, right? We just sort of stare yep. at the minimap when we're commentating. I guess I sort of feel like Ultra should be winning by more than they are. I, I don't know well, why. There was just a lot of neutrals going yeah. on, huh? Yeah, Honestly, they, there's been a lot of neutrals that have been happening. Florida have done a good job that just to continue to put pressure on, right? You, you neutral at the right time, you you waste a tick for them. I think the start is too, the start as well, Florida had a much better start. But yeah, I think that's the plan. Just try to neutral as many flies oh, and heck, true. why not go for, uh, for the CB hole that they're able to get? Well, you know, really, a few yeah, more takes will come in and they're going to take this down to what? Six, seven points. Well, the neutral kind of speaks to how low scoring of a half it was, right? Like, no one's yep. gonna... oh, I think you're going to hit 70. That's it. You got one. I mean, I mean, listen, Toronto had the AB spawns most of the half, which is exactly what they wanted, but they didn't control AB the way they wanted to. Okay. They, they weren't putting pressure. They weren't neutraling that C flag. Now into the second half. Can Florida Mutineers get into another semifinal? For Toronto, can they show something? I mean, they've, they've been to so many game fours, so many game fives. You don't usually see them go out in a 3-0 fashion, but Frosty and Sky lit them up in the first half. And, and I think for Florida to be like consider to be, can you know continue to be considered middle of the pack, can they move their way up into like the, the top echelon of teams? Uh -oh. This has to be uh -oh. a, a group that they uh -oh. can get out of. It does, but I'm saying I don't know because the flip has already happened. You've already got A side control for Ultra. That didn't take long at all, Joe. No, it didn't. No, I think it was uh, Metals who was able to make a few plays alongside his teammates. And as you said, now Toronto, they're just going to hold AC. Continue to grow that lead. You don't see this too often, but hey, why not? Just have one player, well, two players camp C, three towards this A side. Well, yeah, it looks like Mutineers, like we haven't been in this spot this off. They're trying to figure out what they want to do. What they want to do is let Skies get killed. Let Skies get to work. 21 and 11 now from Skies. Problem is, is you have had two spawns at both flags. Like you just had Metal spawn up towards back A, and you had Cami spawn back C. Now you have Florida spawning back C. You never know what you're going to get on Gen Runner Dom. I thought Skies was about to kill the entire team, though, but I think he got four in a row before he dropped. That lead, though, now up to 18 for Ultra, but there's CB set up for Mutineers. With three and a half to go and down 17, they, 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 they've got to hold this for the next 90 or so seconds at least. they got to get back into this. Yeah, we just haven't seen a lot of crazy, you know, long-term CB holds. Uh, because they can put the pressure on that C fly so easily. You have to control pipes for those easy rotations. That's what Havoc's trying to do right now. Has the help of Frosty, comes up off spawn, and you see he has three players to deal with crate side. Toronto, they continue to fly on through. Cami and Classic, double C is able to find those kills. Classic with a nice snap on the Mox, and here comes that neutral again. When you have this lead in the second half, the clock is your best friend. It is just been all... Oh, Ultra, Cami and Classic just cutting through. If we take a look at the stats quickly, I just want to see what kind of Terra Classic is on right now. It feels like he's had five or six in a row. At least it seemed like it. Or maybe it's getting the C's all mixed together as they were pushing through. Oh, yeah, he definitely had five or six kills in a row. He had to have. They just mowed through them from the side. 
15 point advantage for Ultra. I mean, he's only 15 and 14. I don't know what this streak got to, but man, he turned him and Cammy turned their games around there. Cammy now 19 and 17 as well. Finally, some kills for Mutineers, and back to CB we go. They can still yeah, win this game back. with the hole. They can still win it, but it's so hard. Like it's so spread. That CB two hole is so wait. spread. That two players just spawned back C for Toronto. That what just happened? I think that's what just happened. Okay. I was. I'll be honest with you. I was looking at B. I didn't even notice. Okay. Yeah, two players from Toronto just spawned back C. So uh, they're able to pinch towards B, and now they have a neutral on B. Okay. And four go down. Okay. They spawned back B, like at the top, or back <laughs> no, C? No, they spawned back C, like, like to the to Mo like towards B side, like right, right like where Mox is going right now. Oh, where Mox is. Oh, okay. All right. I'm trying to think of why I'm going to watch that back to see why that happened, but all right. Don't have the answer for you. Yeah, that's okay. Well, We're gonna try to bounce now. back now. Yeah. Desperation time. They gotta get B control and a neutral if they're gonna take this win. Ultra win all the fights around the B cap. More than likely, that is going to cement it. Everybody from Mutineers coming off a of spawn. You get a strong game out of a couple players on Mutineers, but also a couple duds as well. Mox can't get anything going. Havoc can't find the rhythm. He found the hard point on Cave to start off this match. And on the other end of it, I mean, really where it turned around is when Classic and Cammy turned up. And Methods has been consistent throughout. 40 and, seconds and this was big to to for Toronto because, you know, we got a Hackney Yard hardpoint next. And that's when they were able to win yesterday against Florida. That's how they got it to a game five. So the fact they're able to seal this down away is big for them. I mean, we could, our, we know, we could have ourselves a, a series now. I'm going to be honest, though. I, I'm going to go back while you talk the last 20 seconds and see why that happened. You gonna pull it up and see? All right, yeah. No, I'm curious because it. I, I wasn't really focused on that. I, I I just thought they were all lumped around B. I don't even think I realized they popped there. And then, okay, so I, I found it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna guys know this for you, so you can see what yeah, I'm talking watch about. Watch it. Watch it in point two five. Oh no! I I just. You'll see. Okay. Ultra. They get the win. They stay alive. They get to a hard point. Not done yet, Joe. Not done yet. We're, we're gonna, gonna put, we're gonna put this so I can look at it. Um, I'll put it in our team speak. Okay. All right. You know. I'm ready for it when you have it. All right. So, skies plus nine, not quite enough. Consistent, really across the board for ultra, but that'll get mm -hmm. us to another hard point as they get what a 28 point victory. Excellent stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna D I'm gonna DM it to you. Okay, that works too. I can open that. I've got multiple computers in front of me. Let me hop over to my other one so I can. Yeah, I just want to show you what happened. There we go. Yeah. All right, cool. All was right, it, so was yeah, it like exactly I said. what you thought. Y yep. All right, so oh. hacking yard. Oh, I thought you were saying closer to B. So you're saying all the way deep C. I got you. Well, yeah. You had nobody deep. You no, had... you can't. You can't. You can't make well, an argument. You had nobody that one. deep for mutineers, but still, there there wasn't anyone pushed up really either. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's the the now beauty of YouTube, about. right? We can go back. Yeah. No, that was that was the turning point where they had to the, they had to hold on. You're like they have to hold here, and that's where they didn't hold. That's tough. That is tough, but it does. To give Ultra a chance in this game. Where are we headed for map four, Joe? Hackney Yard. We saw it yesterday. Toronto was able to win this one. It was a very close game. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if they can win it again. And who, do you know who's spawning Allegiance for this? Um, I can take a look for you. Yeah, if you have that up. Oh, well, uh, this is this would be Toronto's map pick, so. Okay, so Toronto yeah. should be Allegiance. Well, coalition. Oh, yeah, no, they'll have coalition, the better side. Coalition, yeah. So they'll have the weak side. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see if they can do it again. Playing from the weak side, as you imagine, they'll be looking at a pretty big hole to dig themselves out of early. Got a shot of the mutineers as they're talking through their inability to close it out in a 3 0 fashion. But at least they got a couple maps to work with due to the hot start in the series. Yeah. They do. And uh, I mean, I. Uh... Again, it was a close hackney yesterday. I'm sure they, you know, found a, a few mistakes that 
they had to fix and maybe they'll be more prepared for this this hackney yard just trying to see if i could read lips to see what they were talking about joe i i'm not able to do that you don't have that talent no um, that that would be impressive no i mean you could have made some up and i would have believed you honestly <laughs> oh yeah i was trying to see what skies was saying i got nothing but uh you see there for the bracket Empire Rocker Huntsman lying in wait. Winner of this is going to go up against the Huntsman. Is Huntsman looking to get their second win? Empire looking to get their second win. Rocker trying to get their first on the board, and then potentially the winner of this looking for a first tournament as well. But this would be a first semifinal for Toronto if they can do it. Mutineers, no stranger to a semifinal or grand final so far this year. Not like it's been the norm, but no stranger to it. Yeah, and again, I mean, I think I was talking about it in the middle of that game, but like when you looked at this group, this is one of the weaker groups that we had when you just talk about Toronto's performance, right? The Gorillas' performance. Yeah, well, this had to be one, I think, for Florida. You have to make the point to get out. So, sort of like I said, for the top teams and phases in here, you really need to take advantage of that to get a win. When you narrow it down to the groups, yeah, for like the weaker. Not not the weaker teams, you know, the more middle of the pack or even weaker teams like a Toronto. Like when you have that easy group, take advantage. I mean, that with this format, it's all about taking advantage. It is not seated every single weekend. That would be that'd be crazy. With this format, you're gonna have great groups. You're gonna have tough groups. When you have the ones that look good, you need to get points. You've got to. Yeah, you gotta take advantage of it. We'll see if they can do that here. Will it be Toronto? We get themselves into a semifinal for the first time this year. On board with medals. Able to take down two. The trades are there, but Classic with a nice nade. He's going to get on this hill. Florida just making sure they control that tire shop side, the right side of your minimap. Well, medals. He <laughs> just got out of you there. And Frosty just hammers right off past him. Junior still. Good job controlling. Ultra, just trying to soak up as much time as possible. They get plus 40 on the board. That would be great. Methods with a nice reach coming up from behind. Now the push in from Ultra, though. They're trying to push all the way to the top side. Dance and Metals are going to get through. Can they win all the fights? They've got to win about 100 to get the spawns. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it. By the time Cammy gets there, the action is already done. Frosty with a nasty triple to hold that side of the map. But it was a valiant effort there from Mutineer, or sorry, from Ultra. Just couldn't quite get through. But the other thing, though, by trying to make that push, by sending two, three players to try and get through, you give a lot of time on that point to the Mutineers as well. I, I thought Cammy was going to try to make the play there. He, he was trying to sneak through towards the hill. You see how really deep Florida is going. Like, look at how far the middle of the map that they are. We typically don't see this. They are staggering the push for Toronto. Look, you have medals go. Where are his teammates? Like, why, why are you so staggered? This is where you have to wait for one another. In, in Florida doing a, a, a very good job. Toronto has not been able to touch this hill. Toronto not able to touch this one, but they got to get some action on the next one. We'll head over to the Smokestack. Ultra battling for their lives, trying to get to a map five, which has been their domain all year. Let's go to an Astro Gaming listen in with the Toronto Ultra.
Healthy lead up 60. Ultra try to do everything they can, but it's another dud from Metals in a hard point. We saw him struggle around double negative in that map one. He's sitting in a similar spot now. I look know Cammy's there right with now. him, but... Look at Avera. He's he's been in this position the entire time. Florida have done such a good job. It's basically been a four v five, and there's the flaunt, the spawn flip. What a play by Havoc. He just snuck his way through, gets up top, and flips the spawns. I think Toronto noticed it now, but Havoc with the heads up play. He got there with probably 20, 25 seconds left. Florida did such a good job because listen, if they all go down on the hill, maybe Toronto starts to back their way on up, and and maybe they find them. But because Florida held the hill, Havoc, he just stays alive. Toronto, they spawn up. They want to put pressure on it. And there's the flip. And with this one, this could be a 100-point lead after this first rotation. It's one of those things where you just got to trust your teammates. He does it, and they make the play. He ends it on a 5 spree as well. So what a sequence there from Havoc. The lead just building and building. And in this particular title, it's getting closer to that point where you just start to worry that ultra doesn't even have a chance to come back in this one we're not quite yeah. there yet but it's not far yeah i mean listen right they, they start on the the less preferred side you know after tire shop you're probably gonna be down 40 50 points you have to capitalize smoke stack in office and they just weren't able to do so at, at smoke stack during that listening florida were able to break the setup and then we talked about it office florida did a great job that's why you have this 70 point lead, but we'll see. Ooh. Wow, Frosty is starting to snap right now, 20 and 12. Not only do you get the time at docks, you give up the final 10 seconds and you're able to flip so you have spawns for tire shop on the right side of the map as well. You just have to make sure they try and hold this. It's gonna be one in Vance that's trying to sneak through and maybe influence this. I think Frosty realizes something is up and tries to pick this up. So Frosty is just gonna haunt. Now the act is up. Or is it up? Vance just keeps on rolling. Finally, he's going to fall. Spawn's still going to be there. He kills two, but not enough to influence the spawns by himself. Yeah, you need three more for that. Yeah, uh, three, yeah the square root of 40 plus exponential lead 12. That's how many kills you need to try and get tire shop control. Yep, that's right. Someone do that math and then tweet me the answer after that. Tweet uh, us even, the answer after that. I don't even think I said real words there, Phil. I, uh, it's fine. Someone will figure it out. Thank you. Appreciate that. Just, just let the people at home do it, you know? <laughs> Here comes a push up from Toronto. Two players get shut down, but one player is sneaking. That's Metals. And I don't... I, Metals well, is doing no a good teammates. job what's sneaking he right now. Yeah, he's going to win a gunfight. Not able to do that. You win that one, maybe you can get some help. Or well, maybe you I, just sit there for a little bit and hang yeah, out. Yeah, the problem is the help is even close. Like, even if he wins that, he's dead. Yeah, well, like, then, the then you sit there. What's what's the difference? Just sit there yeah. and wait. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? Yeah. I just looked at the map when he got there, and I was like, there is no teammate anywhere. <laughs> just about well, these 20 seconds. Now. Now, these 20 seconds after this, you're going to be, what, 220? Down about 100, and you go to smokestack in office where a little bit more contest heavy, a little bit easier to break. This is going to be, be tough for Toronto. This could be their tournament life. They're going to do something. They got to do it soon. They can't give any, any time to mutineers right now through smokestack. Because if they're going to bring this back, you think it's got to somehow be a clean office in the docks. But you got to get there first somehow. So far, so good. I mean, they're dominating mid, mid map right now. Benjamin Bant's doing a great job as he's going to locate a double. Yeah, I mean, he's going off. I, he He's almost at 30 kills. That might be the 30 bomb already for Vance. Yeah, Vance has been nasty in this map, but they had no one getting time throughout that entire sequence. Like he's roaming around, dominating the bottom L. Then he has to get to the hard point. You'd much rather have him frying, like running around frying with the way we see him flying. He had to get into the hard point. There's no one else in good position to do so. So despite the fact that you... Well, I guess the good thing is you only allow Mutineers to get, what, they got like one point throughout that? Not you a lot. You, you didn't really get a ton of time if you were Ultra. 
But smokestack, not exactly a you know a money point where you're usually getting a lot. But now this now, is now where it comes that tough part. Yep. Here. Now comes the tough part, right? You, you're gonna have to put off his control and worry about spawns to docks building. Cammy does inside. get inside, wins everyone a gunfight, but everyone else gets taken down. Inch by inch they go. Florida now 20 points away from winning it. And now you'd love to in this position have somebody sit back and make sure you keep the spawns, but you can't. You just have to go. There's still 35 seconds on the hard point. You only need 13 points if you're new gears. So everybody from Alhambra has to invest into this point. You just wonder at what point does somebody from Mutineers try to sneak on through and flip these spawns? Or, or do, do they, they? Just go for the jugular here and try to close it out? It looks like they're going for the throat. You still have Metals in a position to make the play. He is going to fall. Ten more points needed for Mutineers. The last wave from Ultra now coming in. You think at some point they might slip somebody through. I, I they think they got it win. right they now. They can win here. They can win here. If no one spawns close, that's ball game. I, I got a little it, scary, but I having thought, with the flank, he drops I behind thought, him, yeah. able to find those kills. So Mutineers will be our final team to get into a semifinal. They set up for a rematch, a date against the Huntsman. The last two times, the last time these two teams battled in a semifinal, you know, it was the Battle of the Brothers. RC's Pristini go up against each other somehow. It's Florida that's able to take that match. You got to think Huntsman are excited for this one. Even with Pristini out of the mix, they'd like to get revenge on the other four players that were there. Uh, and on the other side of it, Minnesota and Empire, as expected. Yeah, I, you have two rematches, right? Two very fun rematches. You, the one you talked about, and then you have our LA Home Series rematch where, yeah, I mean, it goes to a game five, but the Dallas Empire, you know, we, we crown them our champions. So, you know, Minnesota wants revenge. So, Sunday is going to be a beautiful day of Call of Duty. It should be. I mean, well, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be awesome because it's just it's just four teams. It's three matches. That's all yeah. we got. You know, there was so much stuff we had to get through today. So many different rounds of the group play. So many different teams. But now we just isolate these four squads, the best four teams this weekend, and I think. It pretty much what is expected. I mean, I, I know at least on hard points, like these are the four teams that I picked to get through. Um, three were easy, obviously. I think the fourth is the one where maybe you could have uh, taken a gamble on some different squads. But Florida end up being up to the test. And yeah, I mean, despite the fact we switched from land online, I think the results are exactly pretty, what most of us thought. Yeah, pretty pretty Shocking. darn similar. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's that's usually how it works. Uh, at least, at least in my experience, I've been a commentator. The results are typically pretty close to what you would think they'd be. Um, yeah, I just, I just wasn't sure. Like, I, uh, you know, we saw gorillas in that scrimmage, and I, I thought they looked a lot better. And with the different environments, so I thought maybe one team with their roster changes that kept practicing would be gorillas. So I just went with a gamble, like you said, and I wasn't sure exactly sure how Florida was playing with their roster changes. But yeah, I mean, they proved me wrong. They're able to beat both of those teams today. They, they move on to a semifinal. You like what you're seeing from Florida, but do you see enough to have them take down Huntsman? No, but my answer was also no in Atlanta, and they proved me wrong there. That's true. Maybe they have what it takes to prove you wrong yet again. We still have to wrap the show tonight, but that's going to do it at least for our final match of the night. We'll be right back after this quick break.